Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Summer is right around the corner and at least in this part of the world, it seems to be gearing up to become a very hot and sunny one. So today I wanted to share some haircare tips with you that you can use to get your hair through the scorching summer months and make sure that it stays as healthy as possible. Just like your skin, your hair will need different types of care in different seasons of the year. In summer, of course, the biggest factors are the sun, the heat and any, you know, waterside recreational activities that you might be doing in the summer. So the first and probably biggest tip I have is to simply shield your hair from the sun by wearing a hat or a scarf or some type of head covering. Not only will this help shield your hair from the sun rays, but also your scalp and the tops of your ears, which are points of the skin that get burned easily and often are often overlooked when applying sunscreen. It's pretty hard to apply sunscreen, you know, everywhere on your scalp. So wearing a hat is a very easy way to combat that, to be a little bit safer in the sun, especially if you are to spend prolonged periods of time in the sun. If you wear a nice wide brimmed hat, then you are also shielding your shoulders from the sun. It's just a great thing overall to do. Not to mention it looks super, super cute can't beat a good straw hat in summer, so definitely consider doing that. Something else you could do to protect your hair from the sun is to wear it up in kind of loose hairstyles, looser, messier ponytails, braids, um, anything that doesn't, you know, tug at your hair too much, pull it too tightly, leaves a little bit of air that's going to at least reduce the amount of hair that is exposed to the sun. It also helps to keep your hair off of your neck and shoulders and back, which can be really annoying if it's really hot and you're sweaty. So it's really nice to get your hair, you know, off of your skin. And it's also a great way to deal with your hair if you tend to experience a lot of frizziness during the summer due to the high humidity in the air. Yeah, definitely consider throwing your hair up in a little up to or hairstyle. I have a playlist of hair tutorials where I have over 250, I think hair tutorials that are plenty for you to choose from. So I will link that in the info card up there and you can check out some of those that you might use over the summer. Now, if you don't want to wear your hair up or covered um, every day of the summer, which I can definitely understand, or maybe you actually want to have your hair exposed to the sun to get some of the lightening properties that the sun can offer, there are ways you can protect your hair while it's down as well. I would definitely recommend applying some leave-in conditioner or even heat protector to your hair if you are to be out in the scorching sun for long periods of time. It really does help. It provides a little bit of extra moisture and protection from the heat, especially the heat protector will, because don't underestimate how hot hair can get in the sun, especially dark hair. So if you have some heat protector lying around, don't be afraid to just use it on a daily basis in summer as well. There are also SPF hair products available. They do tend to be a bit more on the luxurious side, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I have seen any more budget-friendly uh, UV hair products in drugstores here in the Netherlands in any case, but please correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows of any good ones, by all means leave them in the comments. <laughs> but yes, they do definitely exist and they are fantastic. They are made for, you know, hair sun protection, so definitely be sure to check some of those out if you wish to do so. Alternatively, you could just run some regular SPF sunscreen through your hair as well. After you've covered your skin, you can just run whatever's left on your hands through your hair. Pay extra attention to hydrating and conditioning the hair during summer. Most of the hair-related issues that arise in summer have to do with dehydration, the hair drying out, and discoloration, especially if you have um, dyed hair. And staying on top of moisturizing can really help combat that. So consider switching to a more moisturizing formula for your shampoo and conditioner. Maybe use a little bit more of your conditioner, use it a little bit more frequently. Consider adding a hair mask into your routine if you don't use one yet, or using it a little bit more often. Once a week is perfectly fine for most hair masks and shouldn't weigh your hair down too much. So don't be afraid to up the frequency of that a little bit in summer. You could also use hair oil uh, in your hair, both as a leave-in and as a more intense treatment. I really enjoy using hair oil. I have a DIY recipe up on my channel if you wanna check that out for a hair oil that works really great for me. Um, that can be used both as a, you know, styling, tool as well as a mask. I will often just apply a little bit of that to my ends in the morning, especially if my hair is looking a little bit frizzy or dry, and I will often apply it all over my hair and scalp before bed the night before I intend to wash my hair in the morning. So that's just another way to add a little bit more moisture and hydration and durability to your hair. 
If you intend to go swimming in chlorinated water, so swimming pools or in salt water, then it is definitely advisable to rinse your hair with some tap water first. If your hair is already saturated with the tap water, it is not as likely to soak up all of the chlorinated or salt water, which is definitely a lot more damaging to your hair. Alternatively, you could apply a little bit of conditioner or leave-in conditioner or oil to your hair before you go swimming but do make sure to use products that aren't too chemical heavy, especially if you are swimming in natural waters. Just rinsing your hair with tap water before you go swimming is something very simple that you can do that will help your hair a lot, as well as rinsing your hair after you have been swimming. Again, just with tap water, make sure to get rid of all of that chlorine and salt that's in your hair. It's really going to help keep your hair nice and smooth. And then the last tip I have is to reduce heat styling in summer as much as possible. Your hair is going to be exposed to a lot of heat anyway, just from the sun and the outside temperatures. So whenever you can avoid blow drying, curling or straightening it, consider doing so. Air drying is a lot easier to do in the summer, it's a lot quicker in the summer as well and I find that natural hair texture can look really fun and playful and summery anyway, especially if you enhance it with a styling product like a curl cream. I think it's definitely worth giving your hair a breather from blow drying and heat styling and much easier to do in summer than it is in winter. So those are my summer specific hair care tips. Please give your hair a little bit more love and care during the summer, it will probably need it. If there is anything special you do to give your hair some extra protection in the summer, then please let us know in the comments below and we can all help each other out. Especially if you do have a different hair type from mine, I'd love to hear what you do to protect your hair in summer. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy, you can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!